back. It's another Friday night kerfuffle. We're getting ready to uh, um, wrap up here season six. Um, this is our grand, grand, grand finale. Um, we're hoping that we get some more players here. Uh, so far, so good. We have a new player. Why don't you introduce yourself and uh, tell us um, a little bit about yourself since you know we just got you, me, and Winston. All right. Uh, name's P. Veggie. I've uh, been doing TTRPGs for a few years now and always wanted to get into uh, cyberpunk and, you know, or either Shadowrun, something, you know, punkish, futurish based. And this was the uh, the first game that I came across. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. Well, we're glad to have you. <clears throat> uh, we're going to throw you right in the middle of combat here. Not a whole <laughs> lot of role playing today. Quick, grab this cactus. Grab, here, quick, <laughs> grab this cactus. <laughs> What? Okay, you're gonna be Peter Campbell um, today, since um, uh, well, I guess was Giggles playing Peter? I think he was. Maybe. No, it was. Uh, I think he was. Oh no, he he was or playing. He... he was he was playing Peter, but he he was also playing uh, the other character who Albert. I, I forgot his name, Albert, and then he also was playing <clears throat> um, the liaison, uh, uh, Grimmy. Yep. So yeah, well. We'll give him uh, Grimmy's character, and um, we'll let you play Peter Campbell today, uh, P, P. Veggie. All right. So Peter Campbell is Militech's ops advisor. Well, we can open up his uh, backstory a little bit and, and give you a little bit of uh, character development, which you may use, um, you know, to character develop. <laughs> oh, here, Indeed. Let me, let me find his stuff here. Let's see here, Peter Campbell. Yes. All right. So. Peter is in his late 50s, is perhaps one of the oldest divers still on the active roster with Militech. He's a SEAL veteran, the Navy SEALs, of more military campaigns than can be listed on a single page. Peter is a consultant of the highest order. He's subcontracted to OTEC, the Ocean Technology Exploration Company, through Militech, and his clients include such megacorps as Hydro Subsidium. They, they make um, these EVPA suits. Um, orbital mm -hmm. air. Uh, they, you know, obviously they control um, the orbital skies. You know, they're in, into like uh, rockets to the moon and stuff like that. Near orbit facilities. IHK is now defunct. Um, I forget what that stands for. But anyway, he used to work for them. And he also used to work for the U.S. Department of Ten Defense as a, con as a contractor and as a consultant <clears throat> um, after his, Ew. after he was a Navy SEAL. So, and then, um, he was, of course, working for Militech after that. So, quick uh, resume there. While not in his physical prime, Peter recently performed several surgeries, which increased his muscle mass and has strengthened his skeleton. This ensures that Peter will be diving well into his 60s, should he want that, I guess he does, and probably beyond. In his current role, Peter provides the wish list of things needed for any maritime action. So, he, <coughs> he's sort of uh, the head of... Uh, uh, second in command, I guess, of uh, Team Eleven, which is led by John Neptune, um, and uh, Peter is a relatively short man with black hair and dark brown eyes. His assorted enhancements and implants have resulted in a highly defined physique. Peter tends to come off a little brusque, as do most men who have been in the drink as long as he has. So salty, salty, salty. Fortunately, his clients know his opinion is worth the price they pay, and therefore they tolerate him. He has, however, made more than a few enemies within the cl client corporations, including Militech. So, mm, eh, oh well. You d make of that as what you will. Um, mm -hmm. I think for the, for the most part, your uh, um, fellow uh, soldiers here are pretty much supportive and on your side, as long as you don't get in their way. Well, Nor should you get in the way of my swimming either. <laughs> All right, so um, let's start with Wes. He's going to be on a different floor. Uh, you guys are here on um, what looks like uh, two long hallways uh, separated by a vending machine room uh, where um, you see Mac in between you. And then let's introduce, I guess um, Jack isn't here yet, is he? Well, that's unfortunate. Oh. I wonder where Jack is. Huh, we're missing a lot of players. Yeah, I saw a post. Yeah, where's our net runner too, Kohadal? Yeah, he's been gone for a long time. Oh, he's actually he, he's not um, a net runner in this, um, <clears throat> um, as 
Dr. Era, he is a med tech. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. Were you I, thinking I, Dr. Era was a med uh, uh, so. He He did. He obviously <laughs> did. <laughs> oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Just because we he's had like, yeah, uh, doesn't we mean like he can't be a med doctors. runner. <laughs> we have like but two I'm, doctors. Uh, yeah, we have a couple doctors. I mean, it's always good to have more doctors than fewer doctors. But it's also good to have a nomad who's capable of swimming and seducing the ladies and also shooting baddies up. Um, Wes, why don't you introduce your character? Who's, it goes by the name of Wes, actually. So, so my name's my name's Wes. I'm uh, from an aquatic nomad uh, tribe back in New York City. We were one of the last surviving nomad tribes that would kind of dive in the uh, polluted areas looking for food and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it's led me to uh, search for a long lost love that I've yet to find in my life here. And even though I've crossed the entire United States and gone to Europe and uh, helped out on a huge Euro tour with a band and got into all sorts of anti-corporate shenanigans that have probably put me on FBI's like top 10 most wanted list honestly um but I uh, <laughs> still can't get a girlfriend um who's worth a while so I'm just here uh doing my swimming thing and right now I work for Otec which uh you know has kind of brought me out of the ruts and kind of given me a purpose in life for a bit so I think Otec's pretty cool but I mean, recently, a lot of the missions they've been sending us on, I'm kind of seeking a bit of an early retirement from uh, oh, the contract they've had me uh, assigned to. So I, um, right now, I'm just kind of going with the gang, and I, uh, I like the people I'm around, so I'm just trying to help keep them alive, you know, so I can help keep anybody alive here tonight. Um, that I've done my duty. Family, that's what it's all about. You guys Bye -bye. are okay. You know, um, Wes was a part of a Euro tour, and before that, he was a part of a, a nomad pack, uh, a, a clan that was seeking to uh, bring a, 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 I guess we'll just say that for sakes of metagaming, a highly prized package um, across country, and um, and that family was sort of their motto. Um, it, it, anybody said family, everybody had to take a drink, something like that. <laughs> Your your nomad clan wouldn't have been started by Dominic Toretti. I mean, you know what? They all kind of had this sort of look. I, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now I look like um, Kevin Coster in Waterworld, so that's that's my general thing. Except I have a shit ton of armor on me and guns. Um, and am I am I am I like hurt? Or am I hurt or dead or something? Okay, so we'll come back to that. But yes, you wake up uh. from, from being unconscious. You, last thing you remember, Ooh. you were taking a shot at somebody down the hallway here, and then everything went black. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. All right. So we'll, we'll my, come, we'll, my body is ready. Yeah, we'll come back to you in a minute here. Let Mac. Let's have you introduce yourself and your character, uh, so that way people know who you are, and then I'll um, fill in the gaps about who this pink eye character is. <clears throat> Mac, are you here? Mac, uh, you seem to be muted, maybe. I don't know. Oh, he's going to re reboot. Yeah, he's, he's got technical difficulties. Oh, no. There, there he is. Are. Hey. The one time I said I was... Okay, so... Note says, well, people are was playing a nomad. Sub jock. Act kind of like acting as a captain sometimes when there's no other authority that John, John Neptune uh, assigns. So, Mac, having served four years as a diver in, in an Ohio class sub. James Mack McDonaldson was known as the best diver in the Pacific by 2018. He then landed a job with OTEC assigned to a combat vessel deployment. McDonaldson learned OTEC's combat boats inside and out. When the COP was formed, well, this is the covert ops was formed. Mack volunteered as the immediate 
immediately assigned to Team 11. A lean figure with the late 20s, in his late 20s, McDonaldson's years of combat experience have made him constantly alert of his surroundings. He sometimes pilots the top secret rock sh rockfish stealth sub designed for, uh, to deliver covert ops team to objective without disco. Yep. <clears throat> Basically, right. He knows he knows the sub inside and out, and he's the only one who drives it. All right, great, thanks, Mac. Um, hey, we finally got um, Giggles in the waiting in the wings part. I don't know if he's going to join us on voice. That's, Howdy. There you are. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. Hey, well, welcome why. back. Hey, were you, were you playing Peter Campbell last time? Um, uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, good. Well, then, that's perfect. So then, um, we have a new player who's going to take over Peter's uh, role. Uh, his name's P. Veggie. Um, Grimmy, meet P. Veggie. Or uh, Grimmy is, is actually your character's name. Um, <laughs> Giggles is how we refer to him on Roll20. Uh, well, oh, nice man. to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too, man. Um, do you want to fill us in on, on Grimmy's role so that way you know everybody who's new can kind of gather what what Grimmy uh, does? Oh, uh, Grimmy is a Militech liaison. Uh, he's an assistant on Team 11, or he's the second in command on Team 11, and currently is heading up the operation to capture a Dr. Era and Jumbo. Tell us who Dr. Era and, and Jumbo are, according to your sources, or what what you what, what information and intelligence you've gathered on them, and why they're important to your mission. Uh, as far as I know, I believe the only thing we know is that they've gone AWOL, and that they are an information risk, as well as Era just being a dangerous person. Was there something in particular that they found or that they know about that um, is of particular interest to Militech or OTEC, for that matter? I don't think I was ever informed. I don't think Grimey was ever informed of it. Well, there was a, a mission um, where a few uh, weeks back where something was found on a Sino base that um, Jumbo and Dr. Era knew about. Do you remember what that was? Uh, that would have been the black goo. Right. Can you tell us anything about that, or can anybody fill us in? Uh, I think Mac might know more than I do. I, I was around for the black goo incident. Well, Doctors Era and Jumbo recognized um, maybe uh, the name of one of their um, other... Oh, shoot, is that what I found in the fucking vat? In that, in those like experimental fucking research facilities and maybe, shit. Maybe, maybe. Uh, oh, oh god, did I get it on my shoe? Ew, 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 get it off. <laughs> quote, uh, quote Albert West: "Burn it with fire before it spreads." Yeah. Burn it with fire. I'm gonna kick off my fucking shoe and shit. And Burn it with holy flame. And throw it on it. Apparently, some of this black goo came. from from Mars, which is where we found some of these other characters in Salvage. Uh, Militech salvaged them. And, um, yeah, that's about all we know. There's a, a, a lot of mystery here. Anyway, Pink Eye was one of the main salvage points, and the uh, the medical team that, um, you know, was able to help Pink Eye function was also sort of found with him. And so, um, you know, that included Jumbo, Dr. Era, also, uh, Dr. Lulu, and um, a couple of other cryogen freeze pops that were found uh, floating around Mars and then um, uh, taken back to Earth uh, to become useful for Militech as assets. Now, um, they've become more valuable as some information about Sino's projects. Uh, seems to be uh, black ops and and they seem to have some intelligence or some intel that might be useful to Militech uh, to help them understand what Sino was up to. Um, so
so that's one of the reasons why um, we're trying trying to um, uh, recover these two lost assets and um, uh, by any means possible. So we, we kind of have a. What are mission. what are the two assets again? I'm sorry. That would be Doctors Era and and Jumbo. Okay. Justin. Okay. Ruth. Yeah, they want their employees back. I mean, it's it's hard to retrain employees in the corporate world. It's it's been the. The wheels move very slowly in, in the Corpo kingdoms. Um, yeah, 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 it would make sense that they want okay. their, their athletes back. Sure. They trained him. They put a lot of time and money into them. I mean, that's a, that's an investment. I, Proprietary cybernetics, you know, the usual. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're just not human, though. They're just investments. So one of the things that um, you know about Dr. Era is that he has four arms, which makes him pretty easy to spot in a crowd, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I could uh, he could. The, the other thing uh, the, about Jumbo, obviously, or Justin, her move, uh, whoever you want to call him, uh, he has an alter ego. You know, uh, something that is kind of hard to hide is his size. You know, so he's uh, he's you know big, um, or Jumbo as we would say. So you know, these guys are probably going to stick out. Um, couldn't be too hard to find, um, especially you know when you got that much. Uh, go on between them um, they should stick out like a sore thumb but we'll see you know um, so far we haven't had any sightings of them but it's only been a couple of days that they've been missing or maybe three <laughs> three days they've been missing three days what the fuck wait so right now I think we're in like a deep sea uh, like oil rig or something right is that right well, I mean, are, Jesus, are, three are, days is a long time. Yeah, you guys um, uh, traveled up north to uh, the North Sea. You guys are located out in the middle of um, the North Sea. We'll go up to the map here, so I'll show you. Just give you a context Ooh, here. New map, new map, new map. It's not a new map, dude. It's the same no. old map. Well, I mean, you know, another map. No, <laughs> world map, world map. Yeah, it's the same old world map as before. Um, you guys are located up here, um, yeah, just like a lot. up in the, the East Sea, I guess, um, up hmm. near Sweden, Ooh. Norway. Oh, we're by we're by the little that little uh, island. Yeah, that's one of Sweden's islands. Okay. Yeah, you went yeah. north of it just a bit. I think it's like Ivas Ivaskar or some shit. Yeah, that's you, that's what that that you're one's called. A little called. bit north of the island, see, way up way up here. Okay. Um, so is the nearest, what's the nearest, like, um, ports or any kind of, like, uh, help, you know, or, like, town that we um, have here? Your sub. <laughs> How far okay. are we from our sub right about, now? About a mile. <laughs> um, okay, in fact, I was, I was suggesting that um, at this point um, that Grimmy would be left on board the sub and could possibly pilot it. Uh, to come and rescue you guys should you need it. Yeah, that could be cool. Always that need a mixed be, strategy. That would be neat. I would be happy about that. Um, otherwise, um, if Jumbo shows up, which he may still, um, you know, if he does, then we'll uh, maybe be able to um, have some kind of uh, opportunity to do a side quest. So in that case, um, everyone would be given another pre-generated character as part of uh, uh, Grimmy's uh, detail. Um, so I'm going to leave it up to you, Grimmy. What do you want to do? Do you want to um, hold out for that side quest and be on standby for that, or would you rather be on board the Rockfish and ready to pick up these guys if they need? Thank you. I think he's going to be on the Rockfish. Okay. So in that case, um, we can say that um, once you guys started laying... Um, um, stuff down that you started move, making your way towards stuff. Towards what kind the, of stuff? Uh, no. C6. The C6. We're laying down. C6. Yeah, once you guys started laying down the C6, then, or maybe once you guys acknowledge, hey, we've, we've reached the base, since you guys were swimming out there, then, Grimmy, um, you would have the opportunity to try to make it out there. So they've barely been on board there for five minutes, so we'll give, give you an opportunity to. Um, navigate your way towards them if you want to do a submarine roll. Oh uh, dear. You, you, can you probably go. heard the screams in no, the comms. Because you guys are on the comms, you probably just said like, hey, we're aboard. Grimmy, make your approach. 
So within that yep. five minute period, <laughs> Grima, you're gonna make your approach to go one mile towards the oil rig and try to dock underneath there stealthily. Yeah. So you won't be silent running, um, but you will be um, probably not too worried about tripping any of their alarms because they'll already be alerted. Gotcha. All right, uh, Submarine, what skill is that under again? Um, since it would probably be a uh, reflex um, because, um, oh, hold on a second. That's a good question. Um, if you don't you don't have that skill, then you're going to just do a naked reflex skill check. Uh, and you need a 15 or higher. Uh, otherwise, yeah. you, you run the risk of running it into the uh, the oil rig and smashing it. Okay, yeah, don't, don't fuck that up, please. Don't, that would be really bad. Well, oh, pretty good. Hey, not bad. Nah, that's, All right, that's so, not bad. so it, it takes you a few minutes, but you manage to pilot it close enough. Um, we, you roll a, a 1D100, or, I'm sorry, we'll roll a 1D10 and we'll t multiply it by 100. See how many meters away you are. Gentlemen. Oh my god, we oh, got another kerfuffler here. here. You're about 200 meters away. <laughs> Um, and we'll the gang's all here. Have you roll uh, one d10 one more time, and that way we'll I'm, figure out which direction of the 200 you are, and then we'll introduce Pink Eye. I'm very busy tonight, but I should be able to jump in and out. And if you have like a really important decision that you want me Pink Eye to make, I like ping me a fuckload, and then I should be able to jump in for a few minutes. I'm on, I'm at home. I'm taking calls. Big disaster happened at work, and I'm getting paid like times two, time and a half. Hey. So I'm making like 60 bucks an hour. Fuck yeah, oh, dude. Geez. All right, Rick. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. <laughs> oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, jeez, there's, there's a big, 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 big explosion at work today. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't quite play, but I'll be in and out. All right, well, it's good morning. We got to get that explosion way up your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I tell you what, um, let's figure this out. Do you um, want to just uh, t um, roll the last uh, bit here where you guys are uh, here and we'll come back to, um, no, we gotta fix, um, we gotta catch up, Wes. So Wes, you're gonna have, we'll yep. say uh, 1d6 turns um, to okay. catch up to the other guys. Um, you wake up and sort of, you're... Can I can I add any luck to my one d six? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'll add two luck to this. All right, All right so I get five turns. So you get five turns to catch up to these guys. I'm gonna. Uh... It would have been so funny if you added like ten luck. Just <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to get greedy with it. You know, I thought I thought you know I'd kind of portion out. He, he wants to use that luck for something else, and he'll need it for sure. All right, so you, <laughs> a, you wake up here on the floor. Um, two okay. dead guys next to you. They've been looted already. Oh, oh, what the, what, what, what the heck happened they, here, guys? One of, them um, been, one of them has a sword sticking out of him still. Uh, can I investigate the sword? What kind of sword is it? Oh, it's a, it's a. Uh, we'll tell him what he won there, Pink Eye. Pink Eye, <laughs> probably monokatana. Yeah, it's a monokatana. Oh, oh, goodness. Um. Okay. Let's see. So I can I can I grab the sword out of his body? It'll take you a turn. And it's stuck. Sure. So, so it'll be an athletics check. Um I'm not injured. I should be able to do an athletics roll. Um where is that at? It's athletics. Okay, I'm not gonna put any luck into this. All right, you pull 26. out the mono katana. That's turn, oh, a turn one. Oh, Give yourself snap, ten IP for puff. athletics. Snap, crackle pop. And you get four more turns. Jesus, that's a lot of. Okay, cool. Um, let me see. So I get the mono katana out of his body, right? Yeah. I'm gonna add that. Let's let's move it along though. You got four more turns. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so I know um, I'm on a different floor than the other people that I want to get to. I, you don't know that. You really don't know where they are. Okay. Um, can I move out to the main area and see where they're at? That's turn two. You get three more. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna try to see which direction they they actually. I'm just gonna keep moving. Roll um, around. So my maximum. Oh God. Snow, you, you snow. It's okay. Let me get to skills. Th this won't oh, detract right. from your movement this turn, so just roll awareness notice. All right, so you see a few things. You see a, a giant hole in the wall here uh, that's been punched through. You're not sure how that happened. There's a Sorry, dead guy we're, here. We're, we're again, we're again. O over right. here to your right in the hallway. Okay. Good. There's a giant cool. hole punched through the wall. Um, hmm. Behind you, you see two um, computer uh, frizzles and it's crackling back here. It appeared oh to be God. broken. Did the, did the Kool Aid Man come through here? What the hell is going You're on? You're not sure, but there's a dead guy here on the floor. Um, oh, he Lord. apparently has a um, an FNRAL okay. rifle, automatic. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take that from him. Okay. Um, he also has uh, two magazines on him. Okay, that's also super nice. I'm gonna also take that. Um, right, so that's so two I turns think... left. Can I put this in my combat yet, or do you want to wait still? Excuse me? Do you want to, can I put that in my combat, or do you want me to wait for a second still? I and do the rest of my two turns? I don't really know what you mean by that. Well, I mean, can I put my, my the, the rifle and the mono katana in like my inventory? Yeah, you, you picked it all up, okay. it's yours. Okay, okay, okay. I was just trying to know which ones that I had here, because I have like a lot of weapons. Um, <laughs> How much stuff are you carrying? <laughs> well, I've got a spear gun, a sniper rifle. I'm pretty much probably like close to maximum capacity, but I haven't really kind of like divvied out the right. weights. The, the um, sword is in your left hand, and the FNRL is in your right, and that's it. You got two more turns. Okay, F and RL. I'm going to ask you to do that later. Um, so that way, uh, okay. We can okay. Get All right. So I'm gonna way. I'm gonna um, move up. I'm gonna move up my character um, to the edge here. I'm gonna do an awareness notice into the blank room so I can see the blank room. All right. Um, what you find in there is, is basically just um, a storage room full of um, electronical equipment and a lot of uh, crates and stuff. Here, let's see if I can make this open for you. There you go. Okay, cool. What's the uh, little dashes on the left-hand side there? Oh, um, okay, so it looks like there's some red straps that held something in place that it's uh, oh. now empty. Whoa, something got loose in this lab. Um, all right, I'm going to spend the rest of my movements moving back uh, to my team, and then I'm going to use my next turn to move my full movement to uh, get on over there and meet up with them. Oh, um, sorry, I don't know what you mean by that. Okay, so I can go six, and then basically twenty-five, and I'm like, I'm like right here. All right, and good. I'm just. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Oh, you deleted those characters. Very cool. So I have no clue where I'm supposed to be. Okay, cool. All right. Well, uh, it's someone else's turn. Um, I am just. Uh, in a horror movie, and I'm fearing for my life, and I'm trying my best not to shit my pants. Oh, next um, turn. You, you also notice um, as you walk by the, the door here, um, there is Which some C, there's some C6 on the wall. <laughs> oh, where? Right? Where? Right there? Oh, I think it's over here. Over there. Okay. All right. I'm gonna make my way. Is this like an exit? Yeah. I want to make my way over there. I think. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm boogie. I'm gonna boogie as quick as I can that way. Um, you also notice that it has a timer set. Uh, it looks like you have about um, a minute left. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna hack poo into my hand, um, you know, put it across my hair, gel my hair back, and uh, boogie. All right. uh, like, let's get out of here, Scoob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll come back to the other players in the other room here. Let's find you again. Oh, geez. Here you are. Oh, geez. <laughs> okay, so um, Pink Eye has just fired a rifle into one of these um, 
um, oil cans, I guess, and it starts to leak out black goo. You're not sure if it's the same black goo yet. Huh. But you you probably assume that it's oil. Since this is an oil rig. An oil <laughs> refinery rig. <laughs> but it does you seem know? a little irresponsible to leave those out in the middle of the hallway. Is that your full movement there, Mac? Uh, make sure you're not going Oh, past. wait, no, no. <laughs> full movement was... Uh... 15, so if I started like here. Oh, I'm sorry. Mac, you're going to go second. Peter's going to go first. Oh, yeah. Um, Peter, you had uh, 16 as well, and then Pink Eye was 15. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and just to recap here from the last thing, do I, we know that Pink Eye just shot that barrel, Black Stuff came out. Yeah, well, you don't we know have... that Black Stuff came out as much as they do, but you did hear him shoot. All right. Then definitely want to investigate and see what's going on. So you can move up to your full range of motion, which would be three times your movement ability. Which means you should be able to go between, I don't know, 15 and 30 meters. I'm not sure what yours says. Yeah, let's see. But you can uh, open up your journal and look up Peter Campbell, uh, character sheet, and then if you see his movement ability is 6, so that means he can go 18 meters this turn. All right. Let me check that here. Yeah, that's plenty. Yeah, if you're going to go your full uh, rate of motion multiple turns in a row, uh, you're going to need to roll athletics for that. All right, well, I think that this isn't so much full. Hold on, let me go back and check here. Yeah, it's not full. That's fine. 15 yeah. is good. Nice little talent oh, there. Just don't want to have any friendly fire incidents, so I'll be on that side and <laughs> check it out. Then Mac, you're up. What? Okay. What did Pink Eye shoot now? Oh, he, well, last you, last turn we had, he shot at the barrel. Remember? Oh. Anyway, as you oh. turn around the corner, uh, you guys quickly realize that that there's a hole in the barrel and it's leaking out. Nope. Probably oil. Hopefully not black goo. You never know, these guys. Oh, that is black goo. Oh, uh, uh, it's a, uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a weird middle. Well, <laughs> Mac realized, oh, Campbell is a <laughs> tech relation, right? Yeah, right, right, he is. <laughs> Well, uh, it's uh, it's uh, this weird thing from Mars. The guys were talking about. It was in a we in a weird uh, experiment. We don't know what it is, but mm. all that we know is that it's bad. Well. Or nobody wants. It's a green hot. Could I do like a, a, a uh, what is it called? A wilderness survival role on the goo and see if I recognize it from any kind of like mycological, uh, you know, cordyceps well, types, you, you know. Unfortunately, the party is split, so you're not in this room to see it. But what if I am so curious as to want to roll that roll? You'll have to wait until you actually encounter it. Oh, it's not on my shoe, damn it. All right. Right. Okay. Um, so I guess um, Pink Eye's turn. Um, he's going to continue down the way here uh, up to his full rate of movement. Let's find out what his ability is. It's too bad that um, Jack is having the problems he is. But um, let's see if. Um, I don't know. Let's 
so we're all aware of the the C6 that and it's timer, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I only became recently aware of that. Right. So I guess uh, Pink Eye, he can run up to 30 meters. Um, I think... Uh, do you guys um, say anything to Pink Eye or is, are you just going to be like following him? I mean... Uh, I would say, like, Pink Eye, what did you, what did, are you testing those barrels if they'll explode? He's like, yes, trying to destroy this place. Okay, right. Well, why don't we just set up some C6 on those barrels? You're the definition <laughs> expert. Agreed. Why don't we just set a bunch of explosives right here so, where maybe so he, our teammates might be still alive and might be. We, we don't know that you're, you're alive. So oh, he, you he, didn't even think of me. You didn't even think of me, Winston. We thought, okay. oh no, Wes is dead. We're going to have to destroy all of this and then escape. We're going to finish the mission. Okay, okay. I'll mission, I'll mission impossible my way ass out of there. <laughs> okay, so Pink Eye <laughs> sets up another demolition charge here. <clears throat> And um, we'll come back to you, Wes. Does someone want to put a little orange thing there? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a little orange, a little orange thing. Where? A little orange square on the on the oil barrel. Let's see here, and I'll bring this over. I don't here. even see one of my characters. At. He's Gonzo. What the heck? What's good? What the heck is going on here? Snow? What kind of shenanigans are you playing? What kind of shenanigans. I'm trying to do everything at once here. That's what. No, nah, it's good. I'm just giving you shit. Take your time. I know what it's like to be a GM. All right, so uh, we'll go over here to the other uh, map and bring you guys. So now, Wes, um, you go through the the passageway and um, you wind. My up God, this looks like the fucking Death Star. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> um, let's put you over here. <clears throat> Down at the bottom of the screen. So you come in make a reactor. Jeez. So you come in through here. Go ahead and, and um, roll awareness notice. Uh, again, I just rolled. Uh, okay. All right. All right. So you do notice that there seems to be another um, tossed um, demolition charge over here. I'm just gonna run as fast as I humanly possibly can. <laughs> um, I can I think I can go 30 meters. Make an athletics check because you've been going your full rate of motion. Lost your turns. All right, I'm gonna put uh, two points of luck into this. 25. All right, you make it to the elevator. You're hardly ca you know breaking a sweat. Yep. Um. Uh oh. -uh, keeping alive. Staying alive. So you realize that this is an elevator that goes up one floor? All right, give me a second. Hold on, I've got to adjust my stats. Where am I? Where's my character at now? At the bottom of the screen. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, I think I want to move. I think, right? I already moved. No, you're still here at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Yeah, I want to go straight for the other place that I presume that my people are going. So you make your way to the elevator. It's going to take yep. you a couple of turns to get up a floor. There, see? <laughs> All right, almost there. Goddamn. All right. All right. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> it's the other guy's turn. Um, All right. So, uh, Peter, you're up. Are you, are you with us, Peter? Yeah, I cleared my throat and <laughs> hit mute. All right. So... Right here. Are these doors or just lights? Um, they are, some of them are doors. Where the lights are, are the doors. But are they closed or just? Because you know, that I feel like a military man would not just be running by open doors, hoping that they weren't cleared. Yeah. Well, no. These are definitely uh, not open, um, and they could open any second. You know, you're not sure because they if someone just fired. A weeping down the hallway. Indeed. But we have a minute 
or less than to get out of here. Yeah. All right. Running it is. But with awareness. So let's get out of here. Right. You can go up to your full uh, rate of motion with range of motion without having to roll athletics. All right. So oh, let me measure that here. You can go at eighteen meters, I think, is what it was. Eighteen. Yeah. All right. Twelve squares. And then Mac, I, I th believe you are able to do the same. Okay. <clears throat> Following while Tinka is setting up the bomb. And guys, both make an awareness notice check. Yeah, I was about to say, we need to keep an eye on our flags, kid. Let's... Leave it to my cyber eyes. All right, you guys have to tell me what you roll. 23. I'm looking up something. What? Did, what how about you? Um, Peter? And I'm, I'm looking for it since this is my real first time going to look at it. Uh, here oh, we go. Yeah, sorry. It's in uh, intelligence under. Yeah, pretty good. 16. All right, you hear um, on your left, Mac. Are you on the left? Uh, over here? Yeah, you hear a flush coming from the, the room next to you. On my left? Yeah. All right, yeah, all right. God damn it. <laughs> this is his max left. <laughs> I guess I'm posted up like kind of like the wall before yeah, right, the right door. in front of the bathroom door. Looks like somebody's in here. And that's my turn, or can I, like, FBI, open up? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, have you gone your full rate of motion? No, oh, right, it is full rate. Sorry, sorry. No more movement. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's my turn. But I ready my, I prep my gun. <laughs> All right, so um, you hear voices coming from in there, too. Uh, the other side, um, where you are, um, Peter. Mm. Cool. And uh, the door opens. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just let you see in there. There's somebody's coming. And solos. <laughs> and solos. <laughs> okay. There they are. He's like, what's <laughs> going on out here? Oh no, it's work. Blue collar workers. And you hear, like, I heard something too. They just see, like, uh, the, the grow all black. All black in black op style. <laughs> yeah, you guys are suited up in your um, scuba gear. Progman, we've been invaded. All right, so um, they're going to roll an awareness notice and. Um, you guys can roll stealth. Okay. Snow, would you like me to roll that as well? No. Okay. Bye bye. Well, just hang on a second, because as soon as they're done with their turn, that'll be yours. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. I'm here. I hear you. Uh, use three luck. Ooh, nice. Greetings. Hello. He's back. Okay, so um, Pink Eye, you're up. Um, you got two uh, workers that just came out while you're trying to set up some demolitions on this uh, oh, uh, oil can. Uh, uh, roll, roll demolitions, uh, unless you already did. Um, and all you have to do is just place it, then never mind. Okay. Uh, I don't believe I have rolled demolitions. Roll those, uh, somebody roll that for me. And then as that happens, as I'm putting it down, I turn to them and I'm just kind of growl at them. Uh, back. Okay. Go back to where you came from. Okay. I don't know what. 
I don't know what. Can, the, can you tell me I, on the map where you where you put the explosives? Maybe. I don't fucking know. I just throw them wherever. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this place. This whole place is going down in flames. No, wait. I'm trying to. <laughs> you think, you think, I know. I'm trying to quit my they, job. I, everyone is gonna die. You're gonna be the first if you keep talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so okay. intimidation. I'll be back, Jim. Is that is yep. that it? Yeah, all right. Yeah, roll me intimidation. Thanks. Now keep messaging me if you want me to show for a few minutes. Yeah. All right, so um, these guys are. Oh my god! Scared shitless, <laughs> they run back. <laughs> like okay. <laughs> and um, all right, <laughs> that was that. Um, so, uh, we'll come back to Wes. Yes, sir. And, uh, um, you get up the elevator. Like, and, yep, go up the elevator. And, um, let's see here. Yep. Where, where do I shoot? In the middle? Uh, middle. Scroll down. It'd be right here. Yeah, I don't see my character. Oh, I'll pull you on. I figured you could do some of it yourself, but maybe. Not. Oh God. Well, you know, I mean, some of the. Okay, so I'm like right here. Yes. Oh no, I'm up there. I'm up there. Okay. You see yourself up here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Um, all right. Um, can I do an awareness on the elevator and see maybe where people have gone before and try to go to that floor? Um, you see that there are a few different ways they could have gone. Over to the left, there's okay. a, a passageway. Um, straight ahead, there's a passageway. And then over to your right, it looks like it, it wheels around to some kind of... Uh, Wait a minute. Don't I have walkie-talkie comms with these people? Can I ask them? Oh, yeah. Yes. They are? You're yes, okay. we have. Winston, Winston, where are you? Help, help let me get to you. I, I, wo I awoke from a terrible dream where I wasn't what playing Cyberpunk anymore. It was a terrible dream. And what is you're alive? Time. Oh, my God. Please, you got to help me get out of here, Winston. Who's Winston? It's terrible hell I've placed myself in without playing Cyberpunk. He has this some aphasia. Mac. Yeah, roll, roll <laughs> diagnose illness. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Diagnosed illness. Diagnosed illness. I think that's in tech. Yeah. <laughs> Is it in tech? Wow. I would have thought it'd be in like fucking. Wait, no. It's not in tech. Where is it? Oh, I, I got them. Intelligence. I cleaned up. I, I cleaned up the sheet. It might be intelligence. Like, it, it, I think it's. I think it's tech. Yeah. It's a med tech skill. Is it medtech? Uh, no, medtech is a unique skill that's different from the base stats. All right. Well, diagnose illness. I don't. I, I was being kind of silly too. anyway. Oh. Okay. No, it's okay. Let him roll. Let him roll. Let it. Let it roll. I. You know, I'll give you ten IP if you crit. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. Uh, not quite. <laughs> we already get. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm I, I like tell him like, hey man, I'm uh yeah like you know time your explosives, you know, like plant the explosives, just time them out so I can get out of here with you. I'm like I'm right on your tail. I'm just covering your exits. <laughs> All right, man, we're we're gonna get out of here, you and me. We're gonna go out to the city. We're gonna. You know, spend all this cash on lots of drugs, money, and I, I patch in like Mac, Mac, uh, you're, you're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to wait until your turn because he, he spends the whole three seconds talking. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's a death flag if I ever heard one. <laughs> We're gonna get out of here, you and me. <laughs> I've got a wife waiting for me back home and a rich retirement in three days. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, all right, so, so uh, where, where do you go, Wes? You, you don't hear anybody um, on the comms because you've been talking the whole time. Okay, <laughs> then I'll I'll uh, wait on the comms for a response. Yeah, you'll have to wait until uh, it's their turn now. So what, what do you do? Do you just hang out in the elevator? 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, so I can discern from my floor that I'm on a lower, lower floor and they're kind of blowing that shit up. So I kind of want to go to the ground floor. So I'll, I'll press ground floor on that. No, on the there, you could only go up. It was a, a two story, um, elevator. It goes from the down part to the up part and then from the up part to the down part. So you just came from the down part to the up part. And if you wanted to go back down from where you came, you could do that, but you're already yes. up now. I'd like to go back down, I could really? say. Okay. Then really? Fine. We'll come back to you next turn. I'm going to go down, down to the ground floor just to get my bearings. That's all. Right. And try to listen oh, to yeah. other people on the ground. Okay, company. okay. It's up to you. You're the... That's fine. You do your thing. <laughs> you know, all right. Meanwhile, you do your um, thing. the other characters, um, <laughs> miraculously, these guys back up just a little bit, but um, you guys are still where you're at, and it's your turn, um, uh, Peter. We don't have time for this shit. We gotta get out of here. The hell? Why is Wes mess? Did you hear that on the comms? Wes talking? Yeah, and so he rather, can join rather than, us. Rather than talking to Wes, you just you like look at each other. He's still talking, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> He's still talking. I'm not talking anymore. I'm just saying, guys. I want to get back to you. Help me out. Do, do you respond to him? Wes. Wes, I, I, didn't, I don't know where we are, so. <laughs> Damn it. I, I, out of character, I forgot if we went straight. I feel like we went straight from the elevator. Roll a tracking check. <laughs> okay. The ghost of Albert of oh, Heathrow is like, yeah. I'm using two luck on this. <clears throat> All right, so um, I'm sorry I've been kind of ignoring you, um, Giggles. Um, I'm gonna let you go next before Pink Eye. Um, do you uh, you arrive at the base? You're about 200 meters out. <clears throat> do you want to try to board or just man the controls? What do you want to do? Uh, I feel like he will try to board. Okay. So it's 200 meters out. <clears throat> I'm going to say that um, the last two turns that you have not been able to join us, you were a little bit out. So now we'll say that you um, put on some scuba gear and you're able to um, come on. We'll put you down at the bottom of the facility. Um, or you can start out down here. We'll put you on the map. I forgot how many C6. Enough, but you guys probably could have a few more. I think you have probably like two each left, maybe. Okay, two each. I don't know. You might have more. Ask uh, Pink Eye. I'm telling him it's his turn again. Almost. And then you can ask him when he comes on. Um. All right. So. Um. I'm looking for your character here. Maybe you could find it. In the meantime, I'll just reveal some areas for you so you can see what's going on here. At the very bottom of this map screen, you can see this is what it looks like, uh, where the, mm. the platform is on the water. Um, so you can open up this door is open, and there's a ladder that goes up inside of it. So we'll say you start going up inside this turn, um, even though we don't have your character on oh the screen God. yet. What the fuck? Ooh. Um, Weird. Vibe it. Reveal area. The I'm having nightmares with this map. <clears throat> Alright, so that's off here. The, yeah, you're having nightmares. Uh, I shall cherish this map in my memories. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, it takes you about a turn to come up this uh, this way, uh, Grimmy, um, and then it takes you another turn to get up the the elevator shaft and then a, a final turn to get up into this room here. So it's going to be three turns. Um, and Wait, well, he, you, did he roll for three turns? Oh my god. No, but I'm just going to like tell him where he's at. So. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. So, so I'm now, just waiting for Junkers to be in the rockfish when we get back. Whatever. <laughs> 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 Alright, Pink Eye, you're up. <laughs> Continuing to plant the bomb. Um, no, wait, no, I did. Wait, I finished already planting the bomb, eh? Yeah, you finished yeah. it. Didn't I finished. How many do we have left? 
We planted. What are you all doing here? I said leave. And I throw a bomb at them. <laughs> I throw I throw my last pound of C6 at this closest guy. I just wanted to stick to his chest. You didn't put a detonator on it? I didn't put a detonator on it, no. Okay. So you just <laughs> you scare him, intimidate him. Alright. Mm -hmm. Is that all you do this turn? And then I'll prep a fire action if somebody attacks one of my set teammates. Okay. These guys apparently don't have weapons, um, and they just cower. <laughs> Think Leave fast, us idiot. Alone. Leave us alone. <laughs> No, I'm not the guy to see six on the check next time, bozo. <laughs> Onwards, brothers. We have a play. We have the building to clear. It explodes in a half in a minute and a half. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, thanks for telling me on the comms. It, it's actually forty six <laughs> seconds now. Oh god. <laughs> 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 and what do you do? You go down where there is less more time. Le less more. Less time. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you pass a couple of doors um, here and here as well. And then there's another door here. Okay. Um, <coughs> and then as you turn the corner, Pink Eye, you see that there are. Or maybe Pink Eye's left already. Yep. Anyway, anyway there's another door well at the end of the hallway here. <clears throat> After he says onward, brother, he says, there's another passageway down here. Let's go. Uh, and mm -hmm. we'll move on. So, um, Wes, come back to you at the bottom of the elevator. Yes, you, All right. You, you I gotta go. You recognize this place. You were just here. Okay. Is my character uh, still at the bottom? Spot no, on here? because you were in the elevator. Yeah, I'm up. I'm up here now, right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, I think I want to follow where my uh, other comrades went. Okay, you don't know where they went. Oh, well, can I roll an awareness? See if I know where they went. Yeah, you can roll it, but it's not going to help because your awareness. Oh. Nothing on your area here can tell you where they went. They didn't leave any clues behind except for the demolitions that you left down here. That they've timed. So I want to go um, instead of down, I think I want to go to like the upper floor. Okay. Well, there's, okay. Only, there's only one way it can go at this point is up. It's just It just has access to two floors. Okay. Yeah. I'm All right. Go up. So, so we'll next turn we'll bring you up again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like say goodbye and actually hold on. Let me see if there's something. Uh, can I get it? Give a gift of a nomad from my inventory. I'm gonna have random shit here. Okay, I'm gonna give. Um, I have an alien I identification card, like literally an ET phone home type of creatures identification card. I don't know what from, but I'd like to like put that and like toss that out like as a throwing you know card. As a, as a signature card okay. um, you leave as I elevator? open the elevator. Got it. No, I'm going to leave it into the main hall. Like, I'm going to, like, as the doors close, I'm going to, like, throw it, like, through the thing, you know? Does it have your contact information and any identifying uh, photographs of you? <clears throat> no, it's just an alien. It's literally, a, a, like, an, an, like a, what you call it, like, extraterrestrial Martian style no, uh, that, that was from your tour when we were an alien. Because we're oh, aliens in your yes. I was an alien, yes. So yeah, you do you throw out your um um your provisional alien card which has your name on it and your picture? No, I'm gonna throw my uh I'm gonna throw my original uh nomad pants that like are like so crusted with like dirt that they have no use for me because I have an entire yeah, you, have uh, a, you have a wetsuit on and I doubt yeah, that you I'm had those good. pants with you but whatever okay I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some moldy shit up there got it that could grow in mushrooms <clears throat> and fuck your shit up awesome 
Okay. I want to um, fuck up their corpo shit. Peter, you're up. It's your turn. All right. Well, onwards and upwards. Or outwards, as it were. Well, or but up and down. It can do that, too. Well, if ever, we can't... I know that there's a telepath we can use. Mm. All right, so if you're going to go 18 again, you have to roll athletics check. All right. You're really pushing it, redlining, as you, as they say. Peter is a sun devastating. All right, so oh. you end up um, <laughs> getting winded and only make it about this far. All right. Okay. Um, you're not as young as you used to be, Peter. I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this shit. Uh, all right, um, <clears throat> Mac, it's your turn. You should try some of them fancy rejuve treatments. Now you think I have eddies for that? I'm fairly scraping by to try to get some girls swimming my way here in my aquatic nomad land. Good lord. All right, Mac seems pretty nimble there. Why don't you roll athletics too there, bud? I have, I have a lot of shit to shoot at people. And I can maybe also maybe stab people with this katana and shit maybe. Maybe. Maybe, just saying. Or I could give this katana to somebody that could stab a lot of people and that could be really cool. Probably. Maybe if anybody could wield this katana and slice people's heads off with a neon glow. Yeah, you're, you're not kidding. Alright, so I'm going to have to <clears throat> pink eye again. Uh, yeah, yeah, fact right there. 90 swig. Um, <clears throat> Wes, um, if pink eye doesn't show up in the next uh, second or two, why don't you go ahead and tell me what you're going to do. We'll move you over here to this, this other side here. Da -da. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, he's making an entrance. <laughs> All right, Pink Eye, it's your turn. No? He's not here. Is he? Just give it a min minute to set up his mic. Right. Greetings. Oh. Okay, so um, these guys are following you back down the hall. Roll awareness notice to see if you missed any, uh, I don't know, there's other doors that you could take passageways on the right. You see two of them here. One, two. Mm -hmm. uh, they look a little different from the other doors, which um, one okay. of the, these guys came out of. Looks like Wait, I got a question. Uh, giggles, how psychotic are you feeling today? One to ten. How bloodthirsty are you? Out, out of a ten, I'd say Calvert is about a three. Maybe a four. If it's no, no, no. You. How bloodthirsty oh, are you? <laughs> always, always bloodthirsty. More thirsty. So, number. One to ten. Uh, uh, I want to ask. One is okay. good, ten is good. Ten is bloodthirsty. I would say nine. Cool nine. Nine. Wes, one to ten. How bloodthirsty are you? Um, like a fucking eleven. Uh oh. All right, Wes, you're playing pink guy for me right this turn. Oh lord, here we go. All right. Um. <laughs> so I have been I have been bestowed the honor. <laughs> so. uh... Yeah. Yeah, what can I do? Whatever you want, man. You're in the driver's seat. You got Pink Eye's character. You got, you know, Christ. you know that, you know, he, he could suffer a hit and, and explode. He, he's kind All of right, well, let me there. open his character sheet. I've never actually seen his character sheet before. Can I have access to that, please? If you don't already have it, um, I will fix that for you. I think you might already have it. 
I have Jumbo, <clears throat> Dr. Era, I Spy, Dr. Lulu, The Rockfish, Wait, Unidentified, <laughs> Unidentified players. Draft, Range Slash Depth Unknown. <laughs> Yeah, you have. You That's have access. fucking awesome. I love that. <laughs> Ooh, spooktacular though. Very cool. Thank you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if I could have uh, access to that, that'd be cool. You have it, dude. Uh, what do you? Okay, come on. You don't have all day. What do you want to do? Is there We'll have um, Pink Eye. Yes, I do. So he's got a lot of combat. He's got a sniper rifle. Um, Christ, okay. Ooh, ooh. He, he doesn't have the mono katana anymore. Um, but he has the mono knife. <clears throat> Wes is going to give him the, the mono katana. Well, you can't because you're not with him. Okay, and then uh, Pink Eye is going to be like, hey, Wiss, where are you at on the radio? All right. He's going to he's gonna echolocate. Probably right there. Okay. Um, and then he is, yeah, that's all. All right. Does he cross the threshold into the other room? What kind of threshold? You mean that one? Yeah, uh, basically the yeah. doorway into the next room. Okay, and that, that, that might be enemy, enemies up there. Yeah, no, he does. All right. Um, so we'll uh, join him in the next uh, room. Um, but okay. meanwhile, <clears throat> um, it's uh, the tech worker's turn, and they all like poke their head out and go, what the fuck? Did you see that? Dude, there's fucking oil all the floor. What? Shit. Dude, there's a fucking <laughs> bomb in my room, dude. <laughs> They're like, wait, what was the last thing they said? Somebody said there's a bomb in his room. There's a bomb in his room? That was like completely different than everything else he said. Room, he's not stuck on Why him? did you say that so silently, Snow? That was so <laughs> sneaky. Why are you trying to sneak that by us, Snow? I heard that. <laughs> These guys honestly sound a lot like dude where is my car. <laughs> Alright, so Grimmy, um you're still climbing up the ladder. Uh, on the next turn you'll be up in that um top of the ladder scene. And meanwhile, Wes, you um are here. You are here. Wherever you are, there you All are. Right. <laughs> so where am I relative to the place I was before, Snow? Because this looks exactly the same. You're higher. I am one floor higher. Yes. I'm gonna go another floor higher. It doesn't go any higher. You're at the top. Oh, All right. I'm going to make a run for it. Oh my god. Um, how many feet can I go? You can oh, go uh, ninety feet. Ninety. Ninety feet. Yeah, basically, like, right there, like, I can go, I can go, like, right there. Yeah. Roll athletics, oh, no, next turn you roll athletics if you want to go your full rate. All right, so, um, who's up next? I'm so scared, guys. Get with me, yo. <laughs> Peter, you're up. I need uh, y'all, I need y'all. I lend you my rifle. How m how much time do we have before kaboom? I think like like maybe thirty seconds, maybe. Uh, and like it could be it could be even less. It could be like happening any second. I don't know. That's what I'm that's what I'm afraid about. Everybody, shh. Wes. Don't give us snow any ideas. Everybody, shh. Snow's AFK. Shut up. Don't give me any Wes ideas. Wes was the worst person. I'm trying to overheat myself. 
West was the worst person to give control to Pink Guy, and that is that is why I love that decision. What are you talking about? I'm bringing him back to cover. We're gonna like do it as a team, right? We're both gonna like okay, all right, all right, work at corner. Right. You like, you're like yeah. Pink Guy, Wes. Like I have heavy shit. You got heavy shit. We're gonna like easily like take out the enemies. So um, we're gonna take some heavy shit. You know, Pink, Pink Guy is outrunning his teammates, though. However. Canonically, Pink Eye has multiple personalities purely because so many people have to play him. <laughs> Canonically, Pink Eye's cyber psychosis is reaching its peak due to the stress of the situation. <laughs> well, that's okay, it happens. All right. Mm -hmm. um, so, Pink Eye, uh, you find yourself in a new room before your teammates are able to catch up with you. <clears throat> um, and it appears to be a mess hall of sorts. Uh, you might recognize it from Shadowrun, Hong Kong, or something like that. <laughs> hmm? Oh, oh there's a lot that. of people. Oh, God. We're in Hong Kong now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you, you enter the room uh, through this giant door. Um, or actually, there's just a part of it that, that opens as well. Um, but it can open the whole thing. And, and you see there's probably about 15 people in here. Some of them are workers, some of them are having dinner. Um, I guess um, since Pink Eye or Jack is not here, someone else can play Pink Eye. Hi, yes. I'm Moderator. Wes? Ah, uh, okay. So. He is right here, and do I have, can I shoot? Oh, this guy is gonna die, oh my god. All right, he's gonna go out with the bang then. Sorry, Pink Eye, I think you're gonna die. Um, you could just like throw some uh, demolitions in the room and leave, I don't know if you want. I'm not gonna give you any ideas, you can do whatever you want. Well, when you phrase it like that, no. Not the boss. Do like you, no. you, you do what you want? <laughs> so, what is caterpillar drive? What is it? Aquarius full body, um, electrified hull, hydraulic ram, ambidextrosity, stealth chip. Um, yeah. Can I stealthily throw some demolitions into these fucking people's places? Um, as it's far not as I stealthily, can? it'll be like starting a food fight. Um, but you can roll awareness notice and you can roll um, athletics to throw something alright hold on um, um, tell me where you're, where you're aiming I'm going to be aiming um, basically right uh, right here okay and um, the fact is um he may have thrown his last uh, C4 or C6. Um, roll, um, I'm just going to say uh, luck um, plus 1d10. And oh, it, luck plus 1d10. Okay. Yeah, and, and if you get over a 15, I'll say you have one left. Uh, that was not over a 15. <sighs> Jeez. Okay. So you're out. You're, you don't have any more. You reach for it, but all you find is a detonator. Well, <laughs> um, I'm gonna do full auto and then retreat into the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. All right. Um, so, are you shooting at anybody in particular? Um. Yes. It's gonna be a minus uh, three uh, because it's second action. Okay. Let me get my combat. We have M9 M95 assault rifle. Fn RAL. Um, so I think Fn RAL is probably the best. Um, I'm gonna do have, a. You don't have quite a full um uh clip or magazine. You have probably about um twenty plus one d six rounds left. 20 plus 1d6 rounds. 
And we roll 20 plus 1d6. So you have 26 rounds left in the, in the magazine? Okay, I will fucking do full auto. Alright, so at the 26 rounds, if you're doing full um, rate of fire, uh, that'll give you a plus 2, so you still have a minus 1. And um, if you want to aim, uh, or if you want to do a called shot, only the first shot counts. All the rest go to random locations. Yeah, I'm just gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do random shit across an area. Oh, so that would be a suppressive fire. Uh, how many meters wide do you want to do? Minimum is two. Um. The the table is about three feet wide, so it's about a meter uh, wide. This, so if you wanted to hit, map, if you wanted to hit map. two of these people, they're separated by three meters. Okay. I'll go back to the other calculation. This this calculation is not favorable. Okay. Um, so you're gonna fire at which opponent? This one? Uh, main dude. Main dude. Yeah. He's getting it straight to him. The others will, will crumble with their fear. Their, so their uh, you have a minus one to hit. You have to get a fifteen or higher. Okay. Let me put two luck in that. All right, that's a hit, and you get um, looks like nine shots um, uh, land. Uh, roll for uh, location. Uh, for uh, roll eight d ten. Those are going to be the, the eight locations for the other shots. <laughs> and then you okay. can roll. We'll we'll do headshots first. Um, damage is. Um, 66 plus 2 um, so we have two headshots <laughs> um, so roll 66 plus 2 and then again 66 plus 2 I can only do 3 6 so 3 6 plus 2 3 6 plus 2 3 6 plus 2 3 6 plus 2 okay um, yeah I think so that guy's dead that, that's dead guy dies think... alright Takes a lot of damage. Anyway, so then you and I'm gonna run away. And you run away. Okay, good. <laughs> everybody's gonna fucking erupt and go, "What the fuck?" Somebody just took it in the lunchroom. It's uh, looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so let's uh, bring Grimmy on board. Grimmy, you come. Um, into the scene finally. Sorry to keep you waiting. Um, thanks for your patience. Okay. Um, you are um, rolling up into the east storage here on the left hand side. I'll bring your character on board here. A little late to the party. You probably got okay. less than a minute before this place goes, unless you want to start diffusing shit. Yeah, I feel like he's going to move up. That's within movement. That's within movement. Look at this C six and see how long left on it. There, there is C six that you see here on the floor. It looks like it, it had been dropped, um, and it does not appear to have a detonator attached to it. It could be salvaged. I think he might just pick that up and throw it in his dry bag. Okay. <laughs> it's a kilogram. Hmm? Neat. And, All right, that's, that's and that's your turn unless you uh, uh, want to move up to half of your movement left. Uh, I would like to. Let me double check my total movement, which is going to be 21. All right. So you can go 10 more meters. 10 more meters? All right. I'll just calculate that. Yeah. I can get right into this room. Cool. Yeah. Make an awareness notice check. I'd love to. Uh, maybe one. I think there it is. Plus two for my goggles. All right. So you find there's a dead man on the floor here. There's also two back down the hallway. You can see. 
Uh, one appears to be cut in half. Um, there's also a giant hole in the wall here, the bulkhead. Looks like it's been pierced from the inside and something came out of it. Um, and then you can also hear and see some sparks flying off of computers over here. Off in the distance in the next room over, it looks like there's a giant hole in the floor. What the fuck happened? Uh, that's C6, I imagine. Yeah. Well then, uh, yeah, I guess that's the end of his turn, unless he can talk over comms, if that's okay. Yeah, you can say something. Uh, Everyone can hear you. Yeah. Uh, Donaldson, where are you guys at? We're the second floor. I think floor. we're we're nearing the mess hall. Moving uh, in. Yeah. Pink Eye jumps back after unloading twenty six rounds. <laughs> Pink Eye has shot. You <laughs> made contact. Hard contact. Hard contact front. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, you're up. <laughs> Peter just sees right. King Guy backing up after like unloading a full clip. <laughs> just one a guy full, goes down. A full max. Full max. Uh, on one guy. <laughs> on one guy. No such thing as overkill. All right. He only stopped right. because it was clicking. Click, 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 click. Ah, the bullets. We need to get the f out of here. So, let's see here. Um, since I was not here for this, is back towards the north the way we came in, and that's how we get out? Or that is the just... way you came in, but not necessarily the way out. Okay. All right. Um, there may be other passageways on this floor that could lead you to other parts of the of the rig. Um, this place is a little bit like a maze. Door right here, I'm assuming, and door right here as well. Yes. All right. So I tell Mac, Mac, you check right. I'll check left, and then. Copy. See here. Yeah. And then open the door to peek inside. All right. Or, um, we're outside, hopefully. We'll um, roll for initiative, roll stealth, and um, we'll see if, if uh, the person here on the other side. Um, is more stealthy He's than you. Dead. Oh, let's see here. Who is this? Saul. All right. I'm rolling for shit tonight. Well, that guy rolled a one. Looks like a one. Yep, you rolled a one. <laughs> yep. But he's still faster. <laughs> oh, and he fumbled his awareness check. He fumbles, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Must Damn. have been the win. Must have been the win. Must have been the win. Must have been the win. All right, so um, your stealth obviously beats his awareness, so you you slowly open up the door. Oh, but he 50% uh, chance he's locked it, so we'll say um, we'll roll a d100, and if it's <clears throat> um, um, 0 to 50, it's locked. All right, so it's open. It slides open sli silently. You forgot to lock it. Like, <clears throat> oh, that, gosh. that is not the way out. <laughs> That's not good. 
<laughs> it's this guy's room. That guy. He was just hanging out. <laughs> I don't even want to know what he's doing in there alone right now. <laughs> He, was he fumbled. That's why. He, he fumbled. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> he fumbled something. And his pants are around his ankles. What's going on? <laughs> All right. So, uh, did we just move on? Give it to Mac. <laughs> yeah, I might as well. I, I don't even want to attack the guy. I mean, who wants to be caught with their pants down what? and shot? Like, oh, oh, hey. are you are you gonna shoot me? <clears throat> no, Mac, you're hey. up. Okay, I'll go <laughs> here this side. Goodness. All right, roll your stealth check. Stealth check. Someday I'm gonna have some. Stuff. Oh, just beat it by one. One's all yeah, it right, takes. Yeah. Uh, can my uh, can my oh god, can my that guy guy. meet up with the rest of the group? Maybe. Oh, maybe when, when you find them. Yep. <clears throat> all right. So, did I roll more than one initiative? Yeah, I did. Got ten and thirteen. So the other guy that got thirteen, he'll go last. Um, but uh, you did not um, <clears throat> ambush him. So we'll give you eyes on the on the prize here. And uh, the, the one in the middle of the room closer to you is the one that's not surprised. <clears throat> oh, these are just normal. Looks like some tech workers. And the guy turns around and looks at you as you open the door. He says, hey, what are you doing? Who are you? I motion to, like, the finger. <laughs> And show him my gun. Kind of like an intimidation. All right, roll intimidation. You get a plus four. Sympathy. Oh, no, they shoot me there. Is it, it's an empathy skill, right? I think so. Oh, it's a cool one. Go with the two luck. Oh, damn, that's great. Oh, now I have uh, one in Intimidate. Nice. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, he puts his hands up and he says, don't shoot, dude. And he backs up. Nice investment. Yeah. The other guy puts his hands up, too. <laughs> like, he doesn't know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <We're> gonna, uh, <clears throat> put our hands up now. <laughs> All right, Wes, you can be pink eye. Um, but he's just got to reload. You got empty, empty your mag, and you got uh, two mags left, I think. Okay, well I'm popping in uh, number two out of three. All right, do you save the empty mag or do you do you toss it? Yeah, I'll save it. All right, um, make a uh, athletics check or a weaponsmith check. not then uh, we'll come back to you um, all right next on the list um, is Wes 
Wes, you can be uh, you now. Um, we'll come over to your page. Um, oh, I'm trying to play as uh, I'm trying to play as Pink Eye right now. Yeah. Um, I rolled his athletics. Yeah, he's good. So then, yeah, you know, we'll come back okay. to you now. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, I think you're here. You're heading towards the edge of the screen at the bottom, right? Yep. yep. All right. So how far away are you? Looks like you're 50 feet. That's about 20. About half my movement speed. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So you can go okay. uh, another um, 12 meters uh, once we get you into the screen. Um, but you have to roll mm -hmm. athletics check. Okay. Um, let me get my character up. Still three luck. I'll put one point of luck into this. Eighteen. And minus one look. Cool. So yeah, I'm gonna try to move uh, through the areas and meet uh, uh, meet up with the rest of my crew. Nice. Can I get there yet or not quite? Almost. Nah. <laughs> God. <laughs> Uh, it takes a long snow, goddamn. Well, they're down at the bottom of the uh, of this um, room, and you're up at the top. Uh huh. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, you got the. You guys are on the same comms. I'm. I'm. I'm sprinting my way up there. Yeah. All right. So, um, like starting at the top of the screen here. You can move up to uh, 10. Um, all right. Top of the top of the screen, you said? Yeah. OK. I can move 10. Um, I'm going to move <clears throat> over that way. That way. Yep. That'll be my turn. All right. So um, alarms go off <clears throat> this turn, and um, we're gonna. Do you have the door open still over here, um, Peter? No, I I closed it. Okay. Carefully behind, because <laughs> just leave him to his own thing. <laughs> All right. You're up. It's your turn. You hear the alarms start to go off, though. All right. Mac, hey, guys. Book it. We got to check and get out of here. Stat. Okay. I guess we tried the other side. Roll leadership, Peter. And then you can move up to, um, um, you know, probably three quarters of your moving ability without having to roll athletics. Oh, I'm sorry, not charismatic leadership. Um, oh wait, um, yeah, because that's a special ability. There's a, another skill oh, called yeah, there's another one, yeah. Called leadership. There you go. That's even better. Oh, damn. <laughs> Give yourself ten IP and leadership. Uh, pink eye um, follows suit. Um, mm. That's that's high enough to oh almost because it wait you know two and a half times your cool which would be twenty five so that beats your cool so he uh, asserts his authority as it were and you fall in line um, if you decide to break ranks then you'd have to roll a higher leadership and basically declare a mutiny. <laughs> We don't take kind of the mutinies, boy. Okay, no, that's cool. Well, uh, Wes, Wes is going to try that. He's going to be like, hey, man, I kind of want to go swim on my own here. Well, but you're not Wes. You're, you're Pink Eye. Oh, okay. Well, Pink Eye's going to be like, I want to go be Pink Eye. And if you're Wes and you want to do that too, you can roll higher than his leadership if you want to. He's going he's gonna to just give it, a, give it a little gamble. 
Leadership is going to be um, one of the special abilities, right? No. No. Um, oh, no, it's under empathy. Okay, I've got one there. I've got one in leadership. Nice. Um, double crit, yeah. double crit. I'm just going to give it a wild roll. Oh. <laughs> Was that, that wasn't a fumble, was it? No, it was close, though. No, not quite. Not quite. Nice choice. No, you didn't get me this time. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so, um, obviously, you know, you, you admire his uh, leadership ability. Um, over comms, you, you realize that, yeah, time is of the essence. You guys need to get out of here. Um, so you realize that he's right. That needs to be your focus. True facts. True all right, so uh, Mac, you're up. Oh, Peter, do you want to move as well this turn? Yeah, I just wanted to move up here to be 13. How many uh, meters is that? Let's see here. All right, you're good. Um, Mac, you're up. Yep. Uh, let me see. Where are we moving? Uh, oh. uh. Where did you need to do a okay. quick sweep, each each one. Keep going up, moving up, and checking doors. Okay, okay. Got it. I think that's my... See? Yeah. Yeah, that's 15. Up to here, right? And, yeah, still <laughs> prep my gun just now. And that's my turn. Okay. Um, pink eye. You're up. Wes, for pink eye. Alrighty. Let's see. Um, that character just came up right here. Pinkeye. And then you. Wait, you said Wes for Pinkeye. Yes, Wes for Pinkeye. Because, I guess... Okay. Um, yeah, I'm still taking control of this character. Right. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't really want to. <laughs> okay, then he's an NPC. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, all right. Well, uh, so it's it's whose turn? My turn? Yeah. Okay. Then I want to move. A oh, few, my fellow friends. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Just in the nick of time. It's all dead scar. What the hell? What is going on? What did I miss? You need to come up and uh, help us. We're being attacked by a bunch of chooms. Okay. Point me in the direction that needs to die. Um, Where? Where is your finger pointing? Show you, me! You just received a direct order, but, but, but you weren't present for that, so uh, we'll, have, uh, we'll have Peter give it again. Peter Dinklage, I require your orders. No? Peter, are you there? No, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, repeating the orders. Yeah, we're getting... Yeah. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah, we're, we're getting the fuck out of here, man. I'm trying to... They're basically uh, slapping open yeah. doors as we move, looking for a quicker exit, because we got 30 seconds or so. Understood. Um, you just shot somebody in the cafeteria south of you. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, Is 26, this man hostile? 26 rounds, 9 hit. Um, I guess um, Peter just opened that door silently and closed it again. Decided that that wasn't the exit. <clears throat> oh my god, we got 30 seconds to fucking get out of here. We're all dead. 
I rush towards Peter and I prep an action to blast him when he comes out. Blast, not Peter, but blast our enemy when they push us. Okay. Or Peter, if he betrays us. If Peter <laughs> betrays us, I blast him as well. Yeah, Peter, <laughs> Peter could be good. Peter could, could, could be good to shoot in the face. You can, you can roll leadership to see if, if you can counter his 27 or... Um, just accept that that's higher than twice, two and a half times your cool, and that's good enough for you. One of these days, Peter. <laughs> the day of today, son. God, your voice is so good. Yeah, you instantly <laughs> want to follow him anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow you to the ends of the earth as long as you keep talking. <laughs> I got it. 30 got seconds it. left. We got, might as well be the end of the earth. <laughs> you found, funny man. <coughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so Grimmy, you're, you're up. Um, you, uh, you reach um, this level um, as you come through. Uh, you come um, into, uh, let's see, where are you? You're back down here, aren't you? I'm on the first level. Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay, so you uh, hear, you, hear uh, um, you know, um, Peter's voice on the comms telling you guys you got to get out of here. Hmm. Uh, that is more than my cool. I'm going to check my leadership just to see if I can overpower that. Go for it. Okay. So you feel a little <laughs> humbled by his uh, his his fatherly uh, instincts. <laughs> well, I came in here <laughs> right back up. 18 meters, I can just go right back out the door. Okay. In that case, you might be the only one that survives. Hey, man. You know, six, six left. What's that? Hey, man. Brad from three, six left. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. It's going to be vibing in the sub. You're gonna be uh, probably the only one that makes it out alive. <laughs> oh no, West will make it out of there. He's he's running as quick as he can. <laughs> you you just in time to join your crew as uh, in 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 a fiery cataclysm. Yeah. I think he's gonna wait until there's five seconds left, and then he's just gonna. Run away in the, in the I think, tub. I think I think I'll get there. I think I'll get there. The alarms are blaring. Wes, it's your turn. Well, I see. I see my my friends over this way. You do. So I'm gonna go over to them. They're he they're heading your way. Heading my way. What? Yeah. Um, can I do a an awareness notice and and make it like uh able to see if I can try to tell if they uh, can uh, go to the area over here if that's where they're trying to go behind me where's here oh I hear I was trying to like kind of like boop 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 and like give, give you know open my stuff above my character to the north of my character I, I assume eventually they'll make it there <clears throat> they appear to be stopping okay. at each door on the way they, I'm sorry, one more time? They appear to be stopping mm -hmm. at each doorway along the way towards you. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to chill here, and I'm going to act uh, cool. And I'm going to just be cool and be like, hey, guys, uh, come on over. Awesome. What's up? I take it you missed the... Uh the announcement to get the fuck out uh i'm gonna be like hey guys uh let's get the fuck out of here all right awesome um so mac uh, i think you'll be up next 
Or Peter, was that your turn? Or I'm sorry, Peter, you're up, and then Mac. All right. Uh, quick question. So, the elevator that we came up in that little walkway, it looked like there was water underneath that. Or, or are we under the sea or over it? Well, you're okay. I'll I'll give you a, um, a bird's eye view of the of the the oil rig that you're on, since you would have seen that before arriving. Because you guys did a little recon with your, um, you had a drone. So this is this is the outside of it. Okay, so it's a you pretty traditional rolled, oil rig. Then. You guys rolled up underneath it, yeah. All right. Then, uh, hmm. Can I roll awareness, or um, I would I would say insight for. Memory. Is there a memory skill here? But uh, what, what just to see to if I, if that walkway was over water, and if I can, you know, basically, you know, if I just yell, run to the walkway and jump, if we can actually make it out. You might. Yeah, that might be a quick way out. <clears throat> quick thinking there, Chief. And 60 plus years of experience. <laughs> when you've been in the shit as long as I have, <laughs> did they know how to get out of something quick? Wait, when we follow team members of the geriatric, disgusting. <laughs> he was born in the 80s, I think. <laughs> oh, so we're like the same age as me, got it. Maybe even the 70s. All right, Wes is gonna say, "Hey guys, as we uh, go up into the uh, as we go up in, into the escape area, we should uh, start skipping." And I'm gonna do some kind of uh, dancing stylish uh, roll. Are you gonna move this turn? Um, uh, I guess. Yeah, uh, Peter. Yeah, it's. I'm gonna move as far as I can while you know, basically yelling. Get to the walkway. Chopper. <laughs> if we had a chopper, I'd say get to it. But no. Okay. Roll athletics. Right. I'll have the sub ready. Come on, you old bag of bones. Don't fail me now. Shit. Right, not bad. Um, so you're not quite able to go 18, but we'll get you close. And um, next up is Mac. Are you with us, Mac? You're muted. Oh God, I was muted. Sorry, I'm over here. I'm over here. Just moving there. Uh, do I know? Is this door locked? Uh, it wasn't checked. Okay. He just decided to, to, you know, get the fuck out. Okay, so yeah. Well, yeah, I'm running there. I'm running over here. I don't have enough movement to check. Right. So yeah, it's my turn. Okay. So um, to make this easier, if you guys are just going to run full bore for the, the north end here, we'll say that in four turns you guys make it into the next room. Um, so you guys all crowd into this area here where Wes is standing. <clears throat> now, you have a choice. You could either try to take the elevator down a floor and try jumping from that height, or you could try jumping from this height. How much time we got left, pink guy? Is there a way we can do a uh, kind of awareness um, analysis of like what the dangers of each uh, different kind of height would be? Um, well, yeah, uh, it would be more dangerous to jump from a higher height. Okay, that's good to know. 
Is there anything about the, the lower one that would be more dangerous secretly, perhaps? Um, I, I'm not sure what you want me to say. I mean, I just don't know if there's there's something on the ground floor that could be explosive or something that could catch fire and blow us up. If Oil? We, yeah, I like that. There's oil, sure. Yep, yeah, I believe I already told Snow it, but simply just following Peter here. It doesn't look like it's too hot right now. I don't think I really have any targets to shoot at, and we want to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, the, we, the, the question for everybody is this. Uh, do you jump from the, the second floor of this elevator shaft, or do you jump from the the, the lower floor? It you know It's going to take you three turns to uh, get to the next floor down. It'll take you two turns to jump from here. I don't know, you know. I stay with them to the end. I'm the last one to jump. I'll take the longest path. Um, I think I think I think we should go down to the bottom floor because how much? I mean, how much time do we have to left? I think we have like twenty seconds, right? Yeah. All right. So yeah, yeah. So this is like we got ten seconds to run down there and then ten seconds to run outside, and we don't have to like jump outside and get our like legs broken and shit. So those of you that come down the elevator, roll your athletics check as you jump into the water. Oh it's God. I'm gonna use uh, my remaining luck. Assuming they already kind of like uh, talked about this over comms, can Calvert kind of be in the vicinity to pick them up? Yeah, you, but you don't be right underneath them, otherwise they might break their legs on you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh I my gosh, 33. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> wow. Respect. You gotta help me over there, brother. All right, good job, guys. <laughs> oh my More God. Than a robot. Jeez. Um, Pink Eye is amazed at how remarkably easy that was for him. And he, he wonders if, if Junkers is nearby. Oh, God. Oh, that would be terrible. All right, so you guys jump into the water. Um, make awareness Ooh. notice to see if you can find uh, where the. Uh, um, Could I do a swing roll to find where the thing is in the water? Yeah, you guys are definitely looking for your ride. And you don't know where it is. Could I roll awareness notice to spot them as well? Um, Yes, and I think you can also use electronic surveillance. Or sonar. Yeah. Oh, they're over there. <laughs> um, I mean, pink eye is so... Oh, wait. No, we use pink eye sonar. We didn't get a replacement sonar. No, we did. Uh, we did? Yeah, yeah. Because, oh. like, the mission got that. Yeah, yeah. All right, I remember Albert calling it. All right, so uh, G Giggles, you uh, managed to pull up a little closer, um, realizing that how far away you are from having swam there and back. Um, oh, and you, and you notice the uh, three uh, Navy SEAL like um, swimmers dropping into the uh, ocean from the elevator shaft, and so uh, you you go over towards them. Uh, all right, and you guys managed to uh, get picked up by the rockfish just as the uh, first explosions start to detonate. You sink a little lower into the water as the as the oil rig uh, lights up like a Christmas tree. Cool guys don't look at explosions behind them. Wow, wow, wow. We couldn't anyway. There's no windows on the sub. All Beautiful. Right. So the rockfish, um, you guys um, aboard the rockfish here. Um, this is kind of set up more for uh, um, an EVPA. But imagine where this EVPA is, is where the frogman setup is. 
So you got the five man frogmen come up this little ladder and let themselves out. Um, here's the control room where you have the two crew members. One has uh, got the manning the periscope and the other controls, and the other one's manning the navigation systems and the sonar. It's pretty small, pretty cramped in here. Not a whole this lot. This is my cozy. This is my ASMR cozy happy space. I like this. Is uh, there an anime body pillow, per perhaps anywhere most, nearby? Most of the crew is sitting in this room here. <laughs> and guys, is the Adam Smasher anime body pillow? <laughs> okay. I think I'll relinquish control over to Mac, considering I believe he has more experience. Uh, I mean, we've got to figure out what kind of payment did we get? My God, that was a hell of a lot of overtime that I paid this company. Jesus Christ, don't I have any kind of worker rates in OTEC? What's going on here? Mac size. You forgot, like, yes, there's like an intercom. <laughs> I want to go to HR and payroll immediately. As an employee of Utec, I want to go. I want to go to HR and payroll Mac, in those quarters. Roll a uh, sub pilot sub, please. Okay. All right. Good job. Um, you didn't lose anybody. <laughs> That's that's Max one job to find this. this so. <laughs> Why do we have the nu nuclear or this is the engine or is this a nuclear payload? Um, it's not a nuclear payload. This is a sonar. Oh, that. No, that I is, mean this one. I think that's uh, an uh, maybe it's a torpedo, maybe it's an mm -hmm. escape pod. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's nuclear. I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's just uh, a escape pod with a nuclear symbol drawn on it. Um, you uh, go and meet up with the rockfish. I'm sorry, the, um, the uh, hammerhead, and um, you guys can stretch your legs out a little bit more on the hammerhead. Sure. Is there uh, what kind of uh, amenities and recreations do we have on the hammerhead? Well, you can actually lay down on a bunk. Well, that's nice. Are there any women? No. Oh, God damn. Are there any drugs? Mr. West, this has been our, like, 10th mission. There are no women in this ship. Well, there's but, Dr. Lulu. Well, but, 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 Dr. Lulu. I mean, there's Same Dr. Old, Dr. Lulu. Old cruise line. I mean... There's Dr. Lulu. And there's Madison, but Madison is like the, the home base. Yeah, Madison. Ma Madison's made it pretty clear that she does not want to date Wes. Yep. Well, you know, that's okay. You know, we all can't be blessed with you know my, you know, presence and uh, magic. Turn on the turn on my charm here, and uh, you know, You're some people perfect. just can't handle it. Well, but I uh, I would like to see if I can um, maybe buy some upgrades to my equipment, um, especially some of my like rifle. Uh, if there's any way that I can go to my boss and try to ask for an upgrade to my equipment, that'd be great. Oh, I'm sure. I think getting a scope for the uh, FNRAL would be really cool. Um, I also want to see if I can upgrade some of my armor, but I'm not entirely sure. All right. <clears throat> well, um, on board the Hammerhead, there's limited facilities. They don't really have a lot of um, um, upgrades for armor. We do have 
um, additional armor, but you are discouraged from layering too much. Um, the wetsuits have an SP of 10, um, and if you were to try to uh, wear additional armor over the top of that, that would be um, really difficult. Um, it would add an additional EV penalty of one of three already. Yeah, that's true. I don't really want that EV penalty. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to hang out with the team and make sure everyone's okay. Sure. Um, right on. Oh, we have you in multiple places here, so I'll remove the other one. And then, uh, Mac, are you, you're probably still aboard the Rockfish. Yep. Um, but you're within radio, um, you know, so you can radio and talk to everybody. While on board here, you guys can also uh, observe the, uh, the world map again and um, decide your next move. Um, you know, things are starting to heat up. There's been some talk about... Um, Militech and um, Arasaka actually fighting head to head. Uh, word got out that you guys have been uh, um, fighting each other um, after after this uh, situation here. There's been a few Militech individuals shot by uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Arasaka individuals shot by Militech. Mil Aras Arasaka advisors were on board that uh, facility. Um, okay. It looks like one of them was shot in the cafeteria. <laughs> oh my well, god. Shot a lot. We believe it might have been an assassination. Who could have assassinated such, such an upstanding member of a corporate organization that their PR HR firm would, you know, say that they were such an upstanding member of this organization even though they themselves might have assassinated them how, how, how could they how, how could, could they? they how could they so I'll give you guys um, a few uh, updates on your uh, mission statuses so far you've accomplished most of them uh, there are a few targets left um, there's still the hidden oil line on the way back uh, between Deutschland and, and Sweden uh, there's also the uh, krill factory over here in Lutwen um, so, you know, if you want to still take out those, uh, you're set up well to do that. What, do you, what say you, gentlemen? Mm -hmm. mm. So that's the deep reap? Uh, can I, hold on, how many eddies am I going to get? Uh, um, you get the regular pay rate, um, and overtime as well. Okay, well, I've already been working overtime. Could I get overtime times two instead of overtime times 1.5? Uh, roll a persuasion fast talk. Ooh, you bet <laughs> your ass. I'm gonna... You bet your ass. I'm going to put the rest of my luck into this fucking roll. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, God. All right. Okay. I'm putting it. You look in there. Twenty. Oh my oh. god. All right. Oh so my he, god. That's good. He counters with yes. another offer. He says, "I'll tell you what. Um, if you guys uh, f get these last two targets, then um, we'll give you an additional week off of vacation, paid." Uh, that's a Famous. whole additional week that I can spend swimming and hitting on women. Oh my goodness. That's exactly. That's exactly what I need. We like pay vacation. Yeah. I mean, oof. All right. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Snow, I got a, I got a, I got a 20 on that. I mean, he, ha, did he, did he counter? Could he, could he count? Did he, could he roll more than 20? I don't think he could roll more than a 20. <laughs> I think I won that one. I think I got <laughs> what I asked for. I think the employee has a little bit of power that they can exert from time to time. And I think I not with corpos. I mean, let's see the corpo. I mean, a corpo should have very high persuasion. Can he counter? Can he counter? Jumbo was the union. I'm afraid we can't barter. <laughs> All right. So okay. we'll, we'll leave that at the, the season cliffhanger. Does Wes get uh, um, any additional uh, time, or, or does he get paid 
double overtime instead of time and a half. <laughs> Tune in Shall next get, time. Will Wes get, get paid? Will I get more money or will I get an extra week of vacation as, as a company bonus? That I probably won't get. I probably won't get that company vacation. <laughs> oh, paid probably... vacation is still paid vacation, so that's an extra seven days of pay. It'll probably be unpaid vacation ultimately, but that's okay. No, no, no. It, he definitely said it was paid. It'll be my resignation, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's see. You get one week of paid vacation and then immediately quit. <laughs> and that's what I did in my last job. I enjoy being having free time too much to keep working. <laughs> Seriously, though. Like, uh... They, I like to imagine if you quit while we're in the sub, they just put you on a little raft in the middle of the ocean. Probably. All right, guys. Uh, so yeah, I guess I guess on us now. You let's see how uh, generous you are next game. Well, um, give you guys all a uh, ten IP to use in any skill, um, except for your uh, special ability. Put that um, shit in persuasion fast off. And uh, thanks for playing, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If uh, thanks, for, thanks for playing, Snow. Has any Thank feedback you or you want to just hang out and talk and chat? You guys are welcome to. Hi. If anybody has any special requests, um, we can talk about that too. Oh, I get thin. How do you play? <laughs> <laughs> I just did a bunch of growling and ran running. I'm going to put it in athletics and I'll bring my athletics up to a five. All right. Put it in stealth so that I won't in stealth. <laughs> Actually, you know, I'm gonna put it in. St no, stealth is a, a is a times two thing. So I need like I need like sixty. Yeah, items. I have ten in stealth. Oh no! And then I put another ten. So I, I got fucking one. I got four in stealth. I'm like I'm never getting more than that in that fucking stat. That's okay. I'm not gonna waste my precious IP on a double stat. I'm not. I'm I'm just gonna put ten in that sub piloting skill. I figured that'd be funny. I could until hey, unless veggie, you have your character you go across campaigns, then then you're in trouble. Cause you can't hyper specialize in one campaign. You gotta like have something that's gonna make your character uh have longevity. True. Like Wes that literally punch a pregnant woman. Yeah, I mean that's how you sometimes you gotta survive in the world. You gotta like, you know, uh do a targeted uh you know, punch to a woman's uh, uterus and try to uh, miscourage the baby because she uh, fucking raped you in the game or some shit like that. Or just like, I was like so into her that I couldn't resist her charms and she uh, she and she trapped me. And so uh, I had to be a complete uh, piece of shit. And uh, yeah. All right then. Well, good. that's why. Way that's how go. you survive. Way to go you gotta like. You gotta do good that. when it's good, and you gotta do bad when it's bad. You gotta be neutral in the in the dark future. Okay. That's how you survive as an edge runner. Oh wait, this is a good. One. Put it in exotic weapon. What did you think, P Veggie? Did you enjoy it? I did. Uh, <clears throat> I definitely would like to uh, get more experience with it, especially, you know, because I had no clue what I was doing other than just being gruff, drinky guy. You know, I mean, you played the part pretty well. I, if you enjoy you know, like that character, you can continue playing it, you know, with it. And Yeah, um, I mean, I'll, I'll keep going and, you know, until he dies. Yeah. It seems like uh, if you take good care of him, I think he'll he'll last another ten years. <laughs> At least doing you know some running, as far as that. <laughs> then retire to a, a nice, nice place nice like beach you know, on Barbados, the, you know. Yeah, some irradiated yeah. wasteland with a cabin all his own. <laughs> you should come. You should come back though. Definitely come play with more of us. Oh yeah, it's a really no, it's a really fun game. Um, so, you know, as far as I'm concerned, um, you guys have, you know, some vested interest in keeping up with the, the corps, corpos, whatever you want to call them. Um, and, you know, they may send you on various 
um, Black Ops missions from time to time. This is sort of Black Ops. Um, is sort of part of the fourth corporate war. And, uh, um, you know, they just want you to, you know, fuck shit up, uh, you know, wherever you find Sino's facilities. You guys just did a, a massive run on one of their corporate facilities where you found out a lot of information um, about where some of these facilities were. Um, and so, you know, you got some more intel on that. And then... Uh, you ran into this other stuff, so maybe uh, Militech might send you off on a special mission. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, but stay tuned, and if you guys want to come back next time, um, we'll continue with these characters within um, the East Sea. As you guys, um, we'll start a, a season seven um, starting nice. ne next Friday. Um, we'll also continue right. with with the side story um, as. Um, you know, Noah and or Kwatli join us in the future. Um, we'll have you guys all swap into your alter egos as part of the Militech uh, team with Grimmy. <clears throat> um, I don't know how we're going to do that with splitting the team. We'll probably have um, uh, Giggles. You'll probably have to make a separate character. But so we're, we're going with the hot shadow war, right? Yeah, we're, get, we're turning up the heat. So you guys might get reassigned before you get a chance to take out these other targets. Um, we'll see what happens. Shadow War. Shadow War. Just another yeah, way this to is, die. Uh, this is fucking awesome, Snow. Keep it up, buddy. I love yeah. it. Oh, I'm going to peace out and see if I can fix my laptop issues for next week. Yeah, okay. I gotta go to bed I'm soon. glad you were able to join us, and uh, thanks again, uh, new guy. Um, P Veggie. Um, for, for yeah, no, thanks for having me. Good game, guy. Yeah, good game. Good night. Good game, Snow. Yeah.